What's up everyone? This is Captain Shoes coming at you with another food review. This time I am here with my BFF to the FFF, Courtney at Disney Springs. And we have got a whole bunch of Gideon's Bakehouse cookies. But before we get started, please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, get down in the comments and tell me if you have had Gideon's Bakehouse cookies before, if you like them, if you don't like them, what you like about them. If you have a favorite one, I want to know about it. So get down in those comments and let me know. So this is my friend Courtney and she brought me here today saying that I needed to try these cookies because even though I'm a Disney guy, I'm not like that deep into everything about Disney. And she is. So Courtney, why are Gideon's Bakehouse cookies such a thing? Because they're delicious. Because they're delicious. That's yeah. what we hear. They are also low batch numbers. You got to get online before. We waited online ah, not too long, right? About a half hour. Yeah, actually it wasn't bad. They let us in early today. That was a bonus. So they normally have like six cookies and like a limited edition cookie. I was able to finagle one of each, so I have in front of me in this wonderful box original chocolate chip, pistachio toffee, peanut butter crunch, cookies and cream, triple chocolate, coffee cake, and a limited edition, which is what? Coffee toffee? Coffee toffee. Twist the frosty. Tell me, baby, do you want to get frosty with me? Coffee toffee. Twist the frosty. Ooh, baby. Do you want to get frosty with me? Yes, you have a menu in front of you. That would help. Yeah, these are hella popular. People collect them. I'm people. Yeah, they collect the menus at this place. That's how ridiculous this is. But there was a line, people trying to get as much as they could. I spent 60 bucks on seven cookies and a piece of cake. And I feel like it's going to be worth it. But we are going to try out each and every one of these cookies today. I got this fancy, smancy box. Makes me think of, of, of Hogwarts, of magic, because look at it, it's it's spectacular. And that G makes me think of Gringotts. And I know this is Disney, so that's like kind of taboo to say, but it is what it is. Smash some cookies. Let's smash some cookies. So do you have a favorite? Yes. What's your favorite? Coffee cake cookie. Coffee cake. But it's, it's in a morning exclusive, so you can't just get it any old time. You have to be at the Disney Springs location, as opposed to the OG location over in the East End Market. So you only get it at Disney Springs. And then once it sells out, it's gone. That's it. Until the next day. We're gonna start right on top. You don't know which is which. It's like the mystery box <laughs> of deliciousness. So first one up, this is peanut butter crunch, right? Yeah. Have a piece. Really gotta break it and show them. Yeah. So each cookie is about a half a pound. Obviously I don't I don't even think I can eat all of that. Ah. Mm. Mm. That's, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, but you get the salt, the little little hint of salt. Yeah. So, I like peanut butter. I know I like this, but I can also tell that it's not going to be my favorite. It's a little one note for me. Yeah. It's very good. I prefer, like I said, I prefer that cookie in the in the bite form with a little bit of chocolate around it, because, yes. So, <clears throat> now, on my show, we rate things by main men. When tuple main man is like the unicorn, that's as high as you can go. A single main man is like one star. How many main men would you give this? How many, how many is it out of? Between one and five. Give it a solid three. A solid three. See, I was gonna go two and a half, double and a half main man. Two and a half stars. I feel like this is gonna be very middle of the road. It's good. I know why I paid what I paid for it. The, the, the dough is made with peanut butter. I yeah. know that. There are chunks of actual peanuts in it and I love the attention to detail, but it's just okay for me. It's, it's Moving on. Solid. Cookie number two. This is... This is one of my favorites. Ooh. This is one of my favorites. Ooh. Dude, you're good. So good. What is it? What are we looking at this here? This is the cookies and cream, which has chopped up Oreos in it. It is so, I kind of wish we did this one later, but that's okay. Let's you do you want to save this one? Mm, no, I will, I, I'm going to reference this when we okay. come to some of the other cookies. Peace. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
This one's very crumbly. Yes. Hence all the parts. Okay, so I got my piece ready. Show them that right there. Mm. So what she's pointing out <laughs> is you can see the broken Oreo with the cream on the inside. Okay. Now delicious. Full disclosure, I'm an Oreo guy. Mm. If it's got Oreo in it, I want to be all up and around its mouth. This is stupendous. Once again, Oreo apologist, I'm going to like it regardless. Oreo for any snack is always my default go-to if I see cookies and cream on the menu. This to me because I don't know how high we go quite yet because this is early on. I feel like I need to give this a quadruple main man, but leave myself open to amend that and possibly go higher later. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll agree with you. I would say four, maybe four and a half. Cause it's really fun. All right. Okay. And that one I'm going to eat the absolute crap out of. I can't eat partial ones that I just smashed it. And I'm like, do yes. I have another one? <laughs> how did that go so quickly? Okay. Cause it's so easy. Okay, now this one. You're enthused about this one too. Um, I'm glad that it's next. Okay, so this is what triple chocolate they say. Yes, all you the got chocolates. All of the chocolates, absolutely covered in chocolate chips. Chunky salt pieces up here in it. Mm, chocolate goodness. batter, yes. chocolate chips. Have you had this one before? I've had them all. You've had them all. I feel bad about wasting chocolate chips. I'll eat them off the fucking floor. They use floor. Ghirardelli chocolate chips. Mm. It's good shit. Alright. Now. I'm a chocolate guy. I like this a lot. But. It is. It does hit that. That line where it's. A tinge too sweet. Would you say it's one note? Kind of like the peanut butter cookie? Well, I mean, so, that's the whole point of this cookie. is chocolate, chocolate on chocolate on true, chocolate. true. But what do smart people do when they have two wonderful things? Look at you. <laughs> that's so good. Is that really the way to do it? Hold on. So. That's the way I do it. I have them and quarter them and eat two quarters of Okay, so take a little peanut butter, take a little chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Mm -hmm. You got the sweet, you got the salty. Mm. 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 You are as pretty as Princess Leia <laughs> and as smart as Yoda. <laughs> so that's the way to do it. I Now I've just upped my enjoyment of two cookies by combining them. And I'm not a big combining guy. Like, I don't think of stuff like that on my own. I feel like if that's the way it's meant to be enjoyed, that's the way it should be presented. Don't get creative, baby. I'm, I'm very boring, apparently. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> okay. I don't want you to be, like, I don't. I can't talk this one up enough because I love it so much, but I am a huge cinnamon fan. So, okay, so what are we looking at here? This is the coffee cake cookie, the morning exclusive at Gideon's. There is an evening exclusive that is a chocolate coffee, oh, I'm sorry, that's a chocolate coffee cake cookie, but it's, it's a dark, it's called the dark coffee cake cookie, so it's a chocolate cookie base instead of a vanilla cookie base. Now, are you, uh, did you grow up having coffee cake a lot? Like, it always, it felt Christmas. like- Christmas. It felt like it was a staple of all my family holidays and stuff. <clears throat> but I know a lot of people who, don't even know what it is. Coffee cake. That's good. This is really good. <laughs> right? I'm gonna grab another piece right now. That's so good. I don't even want. Look at how soft that is, though. It's... <laughs> but at the same time, you got these little crunchy guys on the side. Mm -hmm. mm. So this is really good. I definitely understand why it would be anybody's favorite, but it's not mine. That's okay. I'm still partial to the cookies and cream. 
obvious. But that's like made for me. I didn't get this body by not loving cookies <laughs> and cream. Cinnamon. The so, really, a really good one that uh, I love is the churro cookie. Churro cookie? They didn't have that today. Is no. that like a monthly exclusive a or something? Okay. November, but very cinnamony. like this, but I'm just a sucker for the cinnamon. But still, even with the cinnamon, I don't think it's like an overpowering dose of cinnamon. It feels yeah. like, you know, it slept in one bed, it was too soft, slept in the other bed, it was too firm, and now it's just in the middle bed, right. and it's just yeah. right. Yeah. And what do you give this one? Oh, this is 10, a, this 10 a, out of 5. They, they, that doesn't exist. There's no quintuple main man. I guess we'll get man. a five out of five then. So a quintuple main man, a unicorn. It's like the fourth one we've ever had on this channel. Very, oh, very rare. Really? Unicorns. You, you don't find them very often. Me. You found Wednesday. Aw, you're adorable. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to put it right in line with the Oreo. Now that we've gotten more through, I want to put the Oreo up a notch, maybe move that to quadruple and a half main man. But I want to put this one right in the quadruple territory. Yeah. So four stars, quadruple main man. And we still, that's one, two, three, four down. We still got three to go. <sighs> This one looks like classic chocolate chip to me. Yeah. And you're getting giddy. Look at that smile. It's so good. See, like, if you're watching this on the internet, taking time out of your day to, like, not do work, close your eyes. You can hear her smile. I always say <laughs> you can hear a smile. So this is what classic chocolate chip looks like. Just stacked on. Grab a Ready? piece. Now, when it, losing chips. I know. When it comes to cookies, and I said this to you while we were in the store, I default to chocolate chips so often because like chocolate chip is great. Like you can't fuck it up. You you it's very hard to mistake chocolate chip. Mm. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. Here's my one okay, this is very I'm, brief beef that I have with this cookie. Uh -huh. Arguably, and I accept this is my opinion, too many chips. Too many chips, not enough, just delicious cookie. Because sometimes I just want some cookie and some chips. So this is overloaded with chips, which is a huge like draw to it and appeal. For me, I could use like five to 10% less chips. Now the chips make it more aesthetically inviting because you're saying, look at all these chips I get. But as we saw, the first time we went to take a piece, chips are falling off anyway. And because the chips are so overloaded, you do kind of lose the taste for the dough, which is delightful. Oh, delicious. So that is why I like the um, cookies and cream so much, because it's just cookie. You're not trying to just get around all these chips in here or they're dropping all of, yes, it's crumbly, but it's crumbly, delicious through and through, as opposed to this, where it's like, okay, chip, chip, ooh, there's a little bit of cookie dough. Chip, 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 where you're fighting with them almost. Mm -hmm. Not that that's a bad thing. So where would you put this? Where would you rank it in terms of everything? Oh, four and a half, easily. Four and a half? Yeah. It's so cool. even with your complaints, you're still putting it right up there at the top. I will hunt anyone down who doesn't like this cookie. I'm going to put it's this... It's a constructive criticism on my part. That I think it's good. It's and like good. I said, I love chocolate chip. It's a default. Sometimes I limit myself, hold myself in a fishbowl where I don't leave that fishbowl because I say, oh, they have chocolate chip? Yeah, just give me chocolate chip instead of trying something new, trying something different, trying something used or trying something blue. And... Uh, but this... It's good. I don't think it is as good as the Oreo or the coffee cake. Mm, three and a half? So I'm going to go triple and a half main man. Huh? Is that respectable? Respectable. Are you mad at me? No. Right, That's you. your opinion. For all the bitching that I do about it, I still love it. Like, it's still good. And I really like that in a bite form, too, which is silly because there's even more chocolate, but for some reason it just works for So me. when she says in bite form, they sell bags of bites, like nibbles, but they're pieces of Did the you say nibbles. 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 Gotcha. Right? Nibbles. Like yeah. a nibble. What do you call it? Like a pop em. <laughs> You uh, did it perfectly. <laughs> but they're they're pieces of cookies but dipped in chocolate, right? Uh-huh. So they do serve that. I didn't get any bites. I didn't get any nibbles. Nibbles? Nibbles. Pop 
All right, this one is pistachio toffee. Yeah. So pistachio toffee, we got our pistachio nuts, our toffee, our chocolate chips, and our dough. Mm. This is my brother's favorite. He adores this cookie. It's, uh, you don't seem too enthused, but. It's okay. I've never been a big pistachio Same. or toffee am. person. I mean, it's a good cookie. If you're like, oh no, I have to eat this cookie. I'm gonna be so miserable. No, oh. you're not. It's delicious. It's just not the cookie that I reach for. Ooh, that one hit you unexpectedly. So, I like this. I'm actually surprised by how much I like it. The coffee and the chocolate complementing each other really well and I've never been a big pistachio nuts guy but it does add that little bit of salty in there and it works really well and I will say I do enjoy this cookie more so than the peanut butter one. Easy. Easy. Again it's two one note. I love it and I appreciate it but it's two one note. And I thought peanut butter was going to be coming in I expected peanut butter to be one of my favorites. Oh. So Served you up a surprise. Yeah. Okay. So that leaves us with Who one to go. And that is this month's special. Right? It's a monthly special? Correct. These things are enormous. So what are we looking at here? What is it called? Coffee. Coffee toffee? Coffee, coffee, toffee. coffee toffee. That's what it I'm looks like. I'm not a coffee girl, so I'm kind of... We'll see. Coffee toffee. This is what we're looking at. Ooh, you can smell it. Can you smell it? Yeah, you can. Wow, I might not like this. You, you can smell the coffee on it. Oh, okay. Almost like it's the, like it's seasoned in One mine. of the holiday cookies that they had um, this last December was a, it had like ground up coffee Grimes? in it. Yeah, I don't know if it was grinds, but um, it was very, very light. From step one, it's right on your tongue. Not that's, your cookie. That's, that's not for me. I like it. I mean, it, it tastes good, but I, I don't like the coffee. Taste. I like it. It's different. <clears throat> and mixed in with the toffee and the chocolate chips. Very good. Nice little flavor. Um, this is still going to be middle of the road for me, yeah. but I do enjoy it. So we've had seven cookies from Gideon's Bakehouse in Disney Springs. Number one favorite. Coffee cake. Coffee cake, mine's gonna be the Oreo, least favorite. That. This. Yeah, not, my, not for me. I'm gonna say the peanut butter is my least favorite. But I'm going to also say, even though it is my least favorite, if you came to me on the streets and you said, Captain Shoes, I saw you and I got you this cookie from Gideon's and peanut butter, I would say, thank you, kind sir or <laughs> madam, I appreciate it and I will eat the hell out of this. Because just like the Ninja Turtles, chicks dig guys who eat out. So, <laughs> what the fuck? that concludes our little session of the Gideon's Bakehouse Taste Test. Courtney, thank you for doing this. Thank you for bringing me here and Thanks making sure I got me. my fill of cookies. You're welcome. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, get down in the comments, tell me what you thought, if you've had any of these cookies, if you plan on having these cookies, if you've tried these cookies, what you like, what you don't like, what you act like, what you taste like. Can't wait to Delicious. hear it. Yes. Other than that, until next time, friends. Mm -hmm.